Hello, Sagittarius. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thank you for being here. It's going to be a general reading, so of course everything may not resonate. Take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel. In about 53 tarot should be you as well. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say, you know, I was gonna be a smart ass and make the joke about seeing red. Uh, everyone in my readings today are gonna probably see red, and then all of a sudden, Sagittarius, there you are seeing red. The card's just solid red. It's interesting with gold bars. Um, red, red, red. What's that movie? Um, the Shining. All work and no play makes Johnny a dull boy. Uh, red rum. Red rum. jumping into this right away what you are showing me acceptance will be your friend acceptance will be your friend i feel like i should start giving people hints as to you know what might help their situation acceptance um acceptance will sharpen your skills as well as your intellect instead of resistance it's kind of like saying um work with life instead of against life it'll help you you're showing me which is very interesting is there's definitely something that you're wanting to kind of soul search and check within yourself, maybe even check yourself. Um, whatever this energy about checking oneself is, even you're kind of saying energetically speaking, I need a break from myself. It's like, okay, um, I don't know what that is. I need, I, you're saying I, I've checked myself and I need a, I need a break from, from myself. Um, okay, so I, I feel like for you, what you're saying is there's so much responsibility on your plate or on your shoulders that you have to take care of and manage and oversee that you're not too sure exactly what your next move is going to be, but you know you have to definitely decide which direction to take things one way or another. I don't exactly know what's going on. Uh, what you're saying is your overall vision of what you're kind of foreseeing for yourself is very complicated and difficult. Um, and it's kind of like you're saying, I'm just uh, right now, I'm just winging it. I am just winging it. And I'm kind of, you know, scooting by by the edge of my seat. Um, I don't know why I just pictured a dog scooting across the carpet. Um, <laughs> the, booty scoot. the scoots, <laughs> the scoots. And then people are like, well, that's nasty. That's gross. And it's like, well, then there's another one for you. Internet, um, your cat. Your cat's butthole has probably touched every surface of your home. <laughs> Fun fact. And you know you never know it. A little butthole kiss. <laughs> oh, it's such fluffy, so cute. <laughs> Fluffy's like I was licking myself and bathing on top of your pillow that you sleep at at night. Why did I get pink eye, Fluffy? Oh my goodness gracious. Um, whatever's going on regarding your vision, Sagittarius, you're showing me it's like you strongly want, it's like you're finding it even difficult to believe in what you're doing for your job, for your work, for your career, for your content or your niche. You're, you're saying it's like you have to dig, 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 and I mean dig deep. Um, 
I understand that Halloween ended just yesterday, but it's kind of like, well, what's the next thing everyone's going to do? You know, what's the wave of the next trend that anyone's going to jump on? You're saying my finances are completely just, it's like winter. There's no leaves on the trees. There's no fruits on the bushes. Um, and that's what the problem and that's what the difficulty is. You're, you're saying I need, I need to talk to somebody and get down to the bottom of this. Um, because everything kind of is dependent on this. There it is. You're saying, Sagittarius, you're lacking creativity. You know, I understand in today's world that, you know, inspiration, you know, you can find inspiration from anybody and everybody. But at the same time, what you're saying is there just ain't no inspiration out there. And that's why you're digging, 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 digging. There you are. Like I said, you, 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 Sagittarius, digging, 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 digging. Um, and that's what's interesting is, like I said, when you check yourself, you're kind of like, I need a break from myself. No inspiration from oneself, huh? Um, that's the equivalent. I'm going to try and be nice today. That is definitely, I have to say, the equivalent of writer's block, if you will. Writer's block. You're a writer, but you just don't know what the fuck to write. Um, hmm. What is that movie? can't think of it off the top of my mind, but I can picture and I can picture the, the characters. Um, it's about a writer who goes, you know, he lives in a small town and he sits at a little bench and everyone in the town knows he's a writer, but no one asks him about his writing. Go figure. Um, and so it's like they have no one to kind of balance ideas off of or talk to about it because, you know, him being the writer is supposed to write from his soul. But yet at the same time, he's in conflict with himself because he's not too sure exactly where his soul's at. And so the whole movie, you know, fast forward, he's got to find himself or rediscover himself so that he can just begin writing again. It's actually a nice journey of, you know, like an artist, if you will, or content creator, however you look at it. You don't know. You're kind of saying, well, let me just rest and kind of take it easy, recover, be at home. Um, let me see if I can kind of find myself. Um, you, you realize that your situation here is beginning to pick up quite a bit of momentum. And that's where it's kind of like chop, chop, Sagittarius. Time to shift it into second gear or just get out of idle. Um, you're saying, yes, I, I need to kind of, you're, you're having the realization with yourself of like, uh, this is this is a very uneasy feeling and I need to step it up. I need to step it up a notch and I need to do something here and be sharp and clear at it because my finances and my job, my work, my position is dependent upon it. Um, and that's what's very interesting is as you kind of like snap yourself back into reality and out of it. Um, <laughs> okay, there we go. Your creativity and your imagination is coming back. I like that. There you go. Uh, um, well, yeah, it's going to take time. Yeah, it's going to take time. But if you don't, geez Louise, if this is one of those situations like, you know, it, it's going to take time, but you don't have time. Um, no, I'm not going to give you any pointers. <laughs> it, it's a world of vultures out there. Um Anyone just eats up anything new that they've seen or haven't seen before. And then it's kind of like, well, great. Now what? As soon as you ate your food, guess what? You, you forgot about what you were going to do tomorrow for dinner. So while there's this energy of consumption, of consuming, um, you're still saying, yeah, but this is a repetitious cycle. And it's kind of like, this sounds like an entrepreneur. Um, like I said, I'm not too sure exactly what to tell you. Um, Take some time with yourself and kind of just fill it out, you know, fill it out because there's got to be some sort of spark of inspiration within you, uh, not outside of you. You know, you'll be inspired if you look around at the world. Yes. At the same time, imagine stealing another artist's work and then people asking about it and then complimenting you on it. And then imagine that, imagine that road, not to mention the karma.
Just saying. Of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a water sign, an air sign, an earth sign, or a fire sign. Goodbye.